Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack and nice to meet you on the internet. Let me just put this out there. I'm no introvert but I have this fear of talking to people. Before, when we are ordering sa restaurant, pagka may lalapit sa aking waiter and mag a ng order ko, hindi ko diretso sinasabi sa kanya. What I do is I talk to my mom kung ano yung order ko para siya na yung maipag-usap sa waiter because I have this fear of talking to other people. And also, pagka nauuhaw na ako and ubus na yung tubig dun sa drinks ko, uh, instead of asking the waiter na maglagay na lang ng tubig, instead magpapakauhaw na lang ako. Or kaya naman, when I have to look for a certain store sa mga mall and naliligaw ako and hindi ko siya mahanap, instead of just asking a guard para malaman ko agad kung saan yung location ng store na yun, I just find it on my own. And I think most of us growing up has this fear of talking to other people and feeling ko maraming iba't ibang rason kung bakit but if there's one major contributing factor na common sa ating lahat na pare-parehas is probably because of this quote na paulit-ulit na sinabi sa atin ng parents natin don't talk to strangers kaya lang nakalimutan nilang sabihin sa atin na pag matanda na tayo that is a bad advice Let me just make a build up for the story. Back in 2014 or 2015, when we started the t-shirt business in Mapua, my college friends, ko, I remember the role of our team namin was more on the back end side. I do inventory, I do balancing of our accounts or organizing our plans. Namin. And the reason why is because uh, I was hiya to interact with the buying of t shirts or kaya naman makipag-interact sa kapartner naming org. So, what did I do to overcome my fear of talking to people? The simple answer is, I went to a lot of events. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of events. Whenever I go to events, it's usually morning of the weekend. And imagine, gigising ako weekend ng morning, and magkukumit ako. So whenever I went to that event, sobrang invested na ako and if may hiya pa akong kumausap ng tao pagdating ko doon, sayang lahat ng effort ko. Once na nandun na ako sa event, kakabahan na ako niyan. And even up to now, andun pa rin yung kaba ko, I still have that nerves. Whenever I know na I have to talk to someone that I haven't ever met before, I still feel that nerves. Usually, may flow yung mga events na yan. And if I don't talk to someone, I'll be bored. And if there's one thing that I really hated in this world, that's being bored. Because I really had a lot of weight when I was studying. There's even a time when I was getting angry with my prof because I was so bored in his class and so much disinterested in listening to what he was teaching. So that's it. Instead of me being bored waiting for the flow of events, I'd rather face my fear of talking to people than I'm bored. It's like choosing the lesser evil for me. Now that I told you what I did, let me share to you how I find these events. I guess not a lot of people are aware how to find these events. So here it is. You only need two apps. It's Eventbrite and Facebook events. So yun, basically how I'll do it is I'll just browse yung Eventbrite or yung Facebook events. Most of the time naman, pare-parehas lang naman ng event na laman yung both apps na yung both platforms na yun. But I still suggest na i-search siya bawat isa because sometimes, sometimes na naman, there's an event that's not on the other platform. Let me just share to you some of my favorite events that I participated in. First one is Tagaalog. This was way back in 2018. The concept of this event is that you have to form a group and you will act as grandchildren of Alola that is lost in Manila. And you'll have to find her through the clues that you'll find in her favorite spots in Manila. This event is so immersing that I was able to appreciate the culture and history of Manila compared to my six years worth of studying in Mapua, which is located in the city of Manila. The main agenda of this event is for us to realize how beautiful Manila was before. And they are trying to restore that beauty by cleaning Ilog Pasig, which runs through Manila. Second is Beyond Small Talk. This is the event that allows you to bring down your walls and just be you. It's a break from the ego and agenda. It's a place where you get to know people for the sake of getting to know them. The rules are simple. No talk of work, school, the news, or the weather. Instead, we go to three rounds of intentional interaction. Rather than looking for people with similar jobs and common interests, find others with whom you resonate. Meet people outside your bubble from different countries and cultures. Share ideas and perspectives rather than business cards and LinkedIn profiles. After experiencing several events, I fell in love going to these events. Suddenly, the fear of talking to someone diminishes. Let me illustrate. When it's your first time, it's really, really scary. And as you go on and on and on and on, it becomes less scary. 
the less scary it becomes, the more you enjoy going to these events. Aside from overcoming my fear of talking to other people, what draw me to going to events are people and their stories. Again, just like what I usually tell my friends, this is the closest alternative we have to traveling. It costs less, it consumes less time, but it doesn't make you look cool in social media, which is fine with me. The common thing between travel and going to events for me is it both expands my perspective in life. I thought before, life is just very cycle-oriented. You go to school, you go to work, you climb the corporate ladder, you start earning a lot of money, you start having family, then you retire, and then you die. That's just how I see life before. Then I met these amazing people. I never made a friend when I come to events because I think friendship is built through seeing each other platonically. And sa events, I mean, you'll just see them once. So I think uh, these are my acquaintances. But seeing them once made an impact into my life because I really felt that they have like a mission or a purpose. For example, si Ira, I met her sa Idea Symposium back in 2016. Uh, she was working with Project Agapay, so student pa lang siya sa Lasal noon. And I really felt na talagang gusto niya yung ginagawa niya. Hindi niya yung ginagawa dahil kailangan niya lang pumasa. Uh, yung Project Agapay was a government-funded project na it's made para tumulong sa mga nagre-rehabilitate and nagte-therapy. So, ayun, it's just amazing na, or as tingnan sila kasi when I was a student, I was just doing things para lang makapasa and seeing them na ginagawa talaga nila yun dahil gusto nila. Then si Pepper, I saw her back in 2017 sa Youth Speak Forum and that event was specifically made parang to influence us to work towards Sustainable Development Goals or SDG. And now, looking at her, nasa Make Sense Philippines na siya and she's now really working towards solving yung SDGs or yung Sustainable Development Goals. Then si Pocholo, not my Pocholo friend na comedian. <music> Pocholo, the founder of Zip Metal Straws. My nickname is Poch. So, um, what does it derive from? Some people ask, where does the name Pocholo come from? Uh, it's common here in the Philippines, at least for those who are not familiar, that whatever is like, oh, it's cool at that time, my mom got it from one of her um, uh, patients while she was a nurse. Uh, his name was Pocholo. And it's like, okay, I'll name my child Pocholo. Great. Okay. So, anyway, um, moving forward. Um, I started ZPH around sometime around August 26, August 2016. The idea was first born. It got executed later towards November 2016. Uh so I saw him sa I saw him speak sa BGC. That's fucked up nights. And she niya yung struggles niya with building yung zip metal straws. And a stig lang because uh, obviously he's working for sustainability. Seeing them reminds me that there's more to life than just going through cycles. Going to school, going to work, going home to your family, earning money. I hope everyone would live life with purpose and passion because it just makes more sense with it. To end this video, I just want to clarify na lang na not all the events that I've been to are good. Some of them are bad. Baka si akalain nyo na lahat ng pinuntahan kong events gives me a magical experience. So, hindi ganun yung situation. Uh, but I still would recommend na pumunta kayo sa events cause the good still outweighs the bad. Let me emphasize na lang ulit. Let's all live a life with meaning and purpose. It's just better with it. So, yun. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, kindly hit the subscribe button. You should definitely hit that button. Ah, uh, ayun, yun lang. See you in the next videos. Alright, bye! Ano ba ba ito? Katanungan ka ba? Sige, katanungan tayo. Uh, what's in for you? <laughs> ano ba? Yung talagang... Tinrigger mo si ate, hindi ko eh. Tulad mo na si Lola. Hanapin natin si Lola. Inuna mo pa love life mo eh. At yung gagawin mo, ihipan mo. Yung gagawin mo, para ma-welcome mo ang love sa buhay. Sige. Or 
At tawag dyan, Huntman yan, tiwala. Let go. Let go of old structures and old ways of thinking. Okay. Of how you're gonna get the world. Halaw na kilola na tayo. Pwede din eh. Let's let go. May questions pa kayo? Oo, oh, no, 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 no. May katanungan kayo.